Yeah, g'day, this is Corey, and I figured I'd explain what the fuck I did with this guitar neck. So what I did was I started with decking boards, cut the edges off it, planed them down, cut the other edge off, ran them through the thickness sander, and then I glued them all together, which I missed on recording by the looks of it. And I glued two blanks together. Each blank had 15 laminations across. So it went the darker timber with a lighter veneer in between and the dark. And then light timber, dark veneer, light across the neck. And in total it was 15 each time. And the second blank had um, reverse lamination. So if it was dark on the outside on the first blank, the second time had the lighter wood on the thing. So what I did was I made two neck blanks and then I cut them in the fingerboard thicknesses, sand them all flat, put a veneer on top and a veneer underneath and depending what was on the outer layers of the wood was whether it got a dark or a light veneer. And this piece here is my headstock. So I just stuck a dark piece between it and four clamps when I was only doing three clamps with the other ones. But this is the lighter veneer, as you can see, and then I sandwich it between melamine. So this neck, I had the thought during a GBC um, podcast and it kept me up until about 2 o'clock in the morning thinking about it. Whoops, there's a shitty edit. And I thought, you know what, I've got time, let's do it. So after this I ended up cutting each blank into, these are what I call tiles. So with them being fingerboard thickness plus two veneers, I cut them to a certain length and I cut a scarf on one of the big blocks and then just followed the scarf with each glue up. This here is the headstock plate, which I end up getting two out of. And with these tiles, going back to the tiles, shit, I'm gonna be talking a fair bit, so. Um, I put music behind it, so gaps aren't um, just total silence. And I had to blank out all the machinery noise because I had to pull all these videos from YouTube to make an edit of this neck video. So they slip around. I didn't want to use index pins because there's great guitar build off trial neck that I did. I used cocktail sticks and some of them were evident in the final neck. So anyway, I'm using a body template there to get the headstock veneer down. So this is the scarf. I used a bit of the burl and two dark bits of veneer. I don't even know what it was. I bought a shitload of veneer in the backwoods of Roland's Plains and it dead set looked like something out of the hill will have eyes or um, wrong turn. Anyway, so glued them all up. That's not quite the length of the neck there and I just cut off the excess, ran it through the jointer and the thickness sander again just to make sure it's all flat before I actually glue the headstock on. See, this is what I'm doing here. I get ahead of myself and I run it through the thicknesser. And the pattern turned out pretty cool. It's not totally all lines up but I think that just adds to it and I had problem with these glue ups slipping so I end up clamping it down to the bench and then um, making sure it didn't move so that's cutting off the thing this is what I did in the guitar build off I used a sled to get the whole top of the neck flat added a maple fingerboard used my Timu centerfinder Cut some plugs out of some old resin that I had lying around that was actually from when I had the burl blank for the guitar. And I thought I'll inlay a so good guitar pick in there for the 12th fret. 
So I painted around it black. Well, that's black stain. Put a bit of shellac over the top. Stuck that in. Here I went wacky with the ears. I used end grain just to make the laminations like so much more in this neck than what it already was. Um, yeah, so I filled the void in the fretboard up with blue resin and then I topped it off with clear resin. And I used shellac to make sure the resin didn't stay in the wood. So here I am still doing a whole bunch of glue ups. And here we go again, sanding, did the shape. I was going to leave a little tab there, but I ended up sanding that off at one point. And then I yeah, did locating holes, cut the excess off, and then I put the headstock veneer on. And I used one of the attachments to get the truss rod access on it. And yeah, fuck, I've been talking a fair bit, but might as well do it all in one shot. And yeah. This is about the point where I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to sand that little knob off. I use this template to do my truss rod routes. I know the measurements of how deep the rod has to be, including the jig, so that's why I'm constantly checking it with the square. And this is doing the carbon fibre. And I've had someone ask how I orientated the carbon fibre, and it's like, well non-flexible way. I didn't know there's other ways you could do it, but whatever. Um, cleared the shit out of it, and then I got to cutting the excess off. And you'll see that I didn't cut close to the line because I have a piece of melamine that I use right here to cut the taper into the thing, and what worked out good was I didn't have to move this time so all I had to do was flip it around each time I did a pass on the neck. I should take a breath. Right, I'm taking a breath and then I'm going to do another voice over and see. So with that template that I use, it'd be better on a router table because I tend to dip. I can't keep a router flat to save my life, I don't know why, it's just, I've never been able to, even with the big ones, so you'll see I've got a plate on my bigger routers, but I do have a table set up and hopefully I'll be able to use it properly because last time it vibrated so much it actually made me cut deeper. So I'm cutting a channel with the bearing bit that comes with the router. Um, it's alright if you're doing a straight, but if you're doing curved sections you've really got to have it lined up, otherwise it's going to cut in too deep or too shallow. And yeah, I used a saw just to get that end bit on the fretboard. I left the fretboard a little bit long because of what's going on with the body and yeah, just use a file that's got a um, edge sanded on it so I can't fuck it up. So I'm sanding the radius in, do it the Neil NSJ way and um, had to wait ages for binding to turn up because I ordered blue binding and then they sent me tortoise shell looking stuff. And yeah, with this I did passes at 80 grit, I think. And then I went straight up to 400 grit with a double pad. We used true oil in a Vegemite jar because the true oil bottle sucks. And yeah, there's another shit edit. This headstock plate was more resin than wood at the end of it. And this is where I said that I didn't. Yeah, the 
truss rod access, glued it down. That's tight bond in an alkaline bottle. And they're really good on Instagram. They say they were a team and I'll say no other glue will do. Hoping they'd sponsor me one day, but I've just got to wait. <laughs> so I did show this neck off on social media and that. And the response has been really, really good. There was on a forum one... Oh, so it's a tub of glue then in the neck. Ah, oh, mate, it's friggin' stuck together with old chewing gum and fucking sticky dots. What do you reckon? There's just some people just, you know, if you go away from the norm, people fucking freak out, which, you know what, if this fails, it fails. I'll just make a new neck. I had time. And I had a shitload of veneer that I don't have now because I used it all on this stuff. So anyway, blue binding, white dots. The body was going to get blue binding, but it didn't stand out enough. So I went with white. The headstock's got white binding. And yeah, just filing and using a ruler as a scraper because I couldn't find my actual scraper. This actually took longer than I want to admit. And yeah, I'm sanding it down, I'm sanding the true oil off, but I end up putting Warris oil on, which I'm a big fan of. And yeah, oh, there, here's the binding bit again. Turned out alright. Um, and then, yeah, I put white binding around it, which took longer than I'd like to admit. And I actually redid that side because. When I sanded down, the binding got too thin in one spot and I couldn't live with that. So, yeah, mixture of fucking super glue and acetone and impatience, really. So, yeah, I just thought this needed a um, explanation video because I didn't it's probably better to have it all in one because I don't know this build series is up to 14 parts already and the next being featured in probably nearly every part of it so far just in little pieces here and there so truss rod cover of course I put binding around it and it turned out great and I actually thought I lost it the other day, but it's in with my parts box, which I do have now. Um, threading. This actually went pretty quickly. I saved the hassle of watching it all. And, um, yeah, that's just Jumac wire. Did the little screwdriver hole. And cut the profile. In a second, but I thought I'd do it. Fred ends first, and I waited till the end of the week. No, start of a new week to actually cut the neck and do all the carving and shit. But I'm just fucking rambling. Like, put nice music under it, and it's just me fucking talking the whole time. Um, the side, this happened when my young fella was asleep. He just has random weekends where he crashes and um, started first fret, tried to do the volute, and then I did up to the fourth fret. And I used my belt sander stand. Normally I'd do it off the bench, but I had that end of the shed tidy. And I thought it would be just easier to either blow this shit out or just vacuum one end. So yeah. And I really wanted to see how the carve was going to look too. And I was going to wait until the Monday, but it was Sunday, I think, when this happened. I thought, fuck it. No, I really want to see. And I ended up putting a bit of oil on there and it looked awesome. And here's the rest of the carve. And I've really got to figure out where to put my bench so my friggin' big buff head just doesn't show up in the shot all the time. 
going to have another spell and I'll come back for another bit of voiceover. Just a couple of flyby shots left now. Just wanted to brag to my mates how cool it looked. There is a tiny bit of the original scarf left, like I'm talking maybe a centimetre on the end. And here is a, another shot of oil being applied. I'm going to call it. Catch us another time. Thanks for checking it out. Cool.